Peggy 18. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode. Well, this is actually episode number 80, if I recall correctly, for Stardew Valley 114 here on Not Your Professional Office channel with me, your host, Axe. And today we are gonna be working with the Tuesday, Wednesday of the second week, and I'm hoping because we were able to finish off the community center, the year will be actually opened tomorrow. Now, there are a few things which I want to do. First of all, I'm quite sure there is that one spot inside of the greenhouse which I, for some dumbass reason, did not put the star fruit in it, so I'm quite sure whoever is watching the episodes might be getting triggered by it. So I'm gonna try to fill in uh, the rest of the greenhouse by more crops. Also, we have Maru, who is celebrating her birthday tomorrow. Now, Maru surprisingly enjoys a ridiculous amount of items, and I mean like she loves a radium bar, gold bar, miner's treat, a cauliflower, cheesy cauliflower, rhubarb pie, I think she also enjoys the hot peppers, but if you really want to like check on Maru, uh, in one of the secret notes which you can get, uh, I believe there is specifically written at least some of the items that she enjoys. Now we are still missing one of the secret notes unfortunately but I'm really hoping that we will be able to showcase at least this one. Okay, yeah, so secret note number four, it's a note of Maru, Gold Bar, Redeem Bar, Battery pack, diamond, and strawberries. So battery pack and diamond is something she enjoys as well. So overall, uh, not that difficult to befriend her, especially later on in the game. Let's take a look at what's going to be the weather like tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to have two sunny days, and what's the luck? Ooh, tempting, tempting. Now, I'm quite sure I will not go, however, into the Skull Cavern, and the reason behind that is simple. And I will try to tell you after we are done talking with Gus here. Sure, there's nothing weird about you stirring a pot every five minutes. And you gotta admit, Gus has a killer mustache. What the hell is in that thing? So sweet. Okay, let's see it. Okay, so I think the mini jukebox is actually one of the 1.4 content which has been added. It should allow you to switch around the music, but the game is set up so that at certain times you will not come across music. So like for example, I think from like 8 till 2 p.m. or so on, it's less likely for you to have any music playing. Maybe the jukebox will help you deal with that. Might be useful. Ah, oh, 
thank you. We're gonna take a look at what do we require for the mini jukebox. So, a few things which I want to do is to drop off the award and we can drop off the jukebox as well. Uh, so currently it's off. I'm not sure if there's a difference between keeping it inside and outside. And I am so glad that now PR store is open 7 days a week. So in case we really need to, Wednesdays are no longer an issue. It's been a bit of a problem in a lot of the previous episodes. I think even the start of the summer season I came across the same issue. So I'm actually really happy that this has now been addressed. Okay, so, uh, let's take a look at what do we need to make the jukebox. So, two arm bars and a battery pack? Wow, really? Th that's it? Okay, so, uh, on the previous episode, we did put in, like, 11 iridium bars to be smelted. Currently, I am sitting on only two iridium bars, so I'm thinking I'm gonna actually utilize these and turn them into the one and only amazing iridium sprinklers but from those actual uh, 11 I will take 5 and finally upgrade the axe and therefore I should have all the tools properly equipped now because today is Tuesday I cannot go and talk to Marnie and I wanna go and talk to Marnie so that I can get one of the auto collectors this will however cause a bit of an issue for me you see, if I put this into the deluxe barn, it will milk all the goats and the cows. Which means, when I will be running outside, there are still four cows which I need to milk. And it will be kind of tricky for me to figure out exactly which ones are the ones that I have not milked as of yet. Also, I see that we are running super low on both the iron and the copper. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and smelt some of these. Now, I do have seven kegs from the previous episodes, uh, which I was able to put together. We do not have any wood, we have very little stone. So what I might try to do is uh, go get in the upgrade for the uh, axe, which will be 25,000 gold. Now, because I cannot get the auto collector from Marnie today, because she is at uh, Pierre's shop working out, I will have to go there tomorrow and purchase it. So today I should consider spending some money or selling some of my stock. What I am happy to see is that the hops are finally ready to be harvested. And I totally forgot to grab the coal without the coal. I don't think I will be able to smelt all that much. So, we are gonna have to do quite a few things here. So I'm gonna... Ooh, even the tomatoes are done. Nice. So I'm gonna have something to sell. I'm gonna probably wait for the later harvest to save up for, like, making uh, spaghetti or pizza. I still have not gone to Gus and, like, purchased the nine recipes, which you can purchase from him. I think the only one which I grabbed from him is the triple shot espresso, and honestly, I think that is fairly easy to explain. I, I keep using it, uh, like, quite extensively here. So, I was thinking if I would put um, here two of these, that will be fine, but here's the thing, these are actually two rows. So, I usually put the sprinklers like here, and therefore I should be able to have the crops dealt with. Uh, it's unfortunate that uh, the area of effect is not bigger so that we can have more crops inside. But other than that, I think we will be a-okay for the time being. 
Now I'm gonna put here actually more star fruit. And I'm thinking that at least for like four of these, or five of these, I will go with coffee. Uh, the rest I might keep for star fruit still. The reason why I want to have at least some coffee inside of the greenhouse is because soon we are gonna come across the fall season. And once that happens, the stupid amount of coffee that I'm currently able to harvest from all the coffee plants around the farm will be reduced to only 5 plants. And that will especially hurt me during the winter season where I will be like running on the fumes from the remaining uh coffee okay how in the heck did i miss this spot so this is like the only disadvantage uh probably keeping the trees inside of your greenhouse because it might cover some of the patches of the land looks like the octopus population is growing steadily so i'm happy about that Okay, let's go take a look into the shed. I'm really hoping that we are gonna come across lots of new stuff. Our dog is watching carefully over our crops. And it looks like the spicy eel, or the lava eel, sorry. I'm probably way too hungry. And I'm already thinking about making some dish out of them. Haha, <laughs> But anyhow, we're gonna load in these hops. The hops are awesome because the pale ale can be produced fairly quickly. We're gonna load in these because they have a great selling price. And therefore, if you turn them into artisanal items, they are even better for that. Okay, what are we dealing with here? So star fruit wine. And quite a lot of it, actually. Uh, pomegranate, pomegranate, thank you. We're gonna brew some more coffee here. And some more hops can go in. And just make sure you will not load the hops inside of the preserved jars. Trust me, uh, the pickled hops are not that valuable. It's also a waste of the preserved jar for like two days till you are able to utilize it again. So we're gonna drop off all of this stuff. Man, this is getting full really fast. I'm gonna have to free up some space here. <laughs> 51, so the peppers can be sold. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, uh, this is our first hops after a long time. We don't have even that much wheat left anymore, so I'm really hoping that it's gonna rain soon again so we get those harvests in. We have plenty of cauliflower still. Now, currently, like, sure, this looks pretty damn amazing, right? 340 strawberries. Uh, things like this, however, can disappear fairly quickly if you have like two big barns or, or two big sheds sorry uh if you use of course barns for the preserved jars and kegs go nuts but yeah we have unfortunately the salmon realm so i'm gonna load it in here but as you can see i can probably show you the difference in like the selling prices for the six pieces of fruits once they are turned into wine. At least we are gonna have something to sell off. We have three lava eel, 15 of those, 15 of the meat. There's a plenty of stuff which we can sell here. But since I'm here, I'm gonna actually pick up the hot peppers. It's already 12 and I feel like I haven't done it. And I feel that the triple shot espresso has completely worn off, so we're gonna drink that. And, oh uh, man, I would love for Robin to be 
at the shop so that I can purchase some ridiculous amount of wood. Uh, or I can probably try to see if I can get some on my own, but here's the problem. If I want to be upgrading the axe, that means that for two days, I will be limiting myself to having access to wood. It's going to be 12.50, which means 1 p.m., and Clint will not stay at his shop forever, so just before 5... I totally forgot to load in these, but since I'm here, one, two, three, or five, six, the star fruit wine would definitely help us out greatly if I would sell that. But we're gonna hold down, hold on to the star fruit wine for now, just in case. Since I'm here, let's make the triple shot thing happen. Okay, so if I smell this, uh, I'm gonna need to purchase coal from Clint 2. The thing is, I will need to get some wood before I do uh, the upgrade for the axe. Uh, so it will take uh, till the next episode for me to get my hands on that upgraded tool because it takes two days. And how in the heck do we want to plant this? I might try to run through like the forest. I will deal with the animals. Uh, see if I can pick up any wood there. And uh, if I have anything, just about anything, I should be okay to then uh, maybe craft something. So, let's see if I can chop down a tree or two, wish me luck, and I'll talk to you once we are at Clint's. Hopefully I will manage to make it because it's getting late. All things considered. Three weeks later. Okay, so obviously I did not take the most efficient route. Please, let's make it. Okay, thank you. I was able to pull this off. So we're gonna put in the upgrade for the Iridium Axe, and since we are- Oh my god, no! Oh, I should have purchased the stupid call from him, but, no, oh, what the heck. Uh, uh, there's- I'm not gonna cry about spilled milk now, so... Let's just deal with the crap pots, then we're gonna deal with the uh, animals, I still am gonna have to milk them and all that other stuff, so we still have quite a lot of work to be done to the end of today. Uh, but yeah, since I talked about the greenhouse, I wonder uh, what you usually tend to keep inside of it. Uh, like, uh, since you open it up, or achieve, or obtain the access to the greenhouse, either through Joja, or either through Junimos, what do you usually tend to do with that? Okay, I know it's not exactly the most reasonable thing to give the uh, starfruit wine, especially since it sells for such a high price, but... Uh, Come on, we have like how many friendship points with her on five? That, that will not do. If I will want to get my hands on the other recipes which the NPCs can provide, I will need seven points with each of them. So, yeah, this is gonna take some time probably. Are you gonna get anything out of the water here? Come on, there's supposed to be fish here. I wanna sell stuff. 550. Without the axe, this is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna have to make sure that I stop by Robins and purchase plenty of wood. I really don't feel like purchasing stone because I can just go into the mines or quarry and just grab a bunch of stone from there. Also, it might be a good place for me to come across some coal, but it's much more convenient 
to come across coal from Clint. I know it spends uh, or it costs you money, but with the turn turn around for let's say just the starfruit wine, which I can considerably sell like ten bottles today and keep uh, the rest uh, for later on, just in case. It's, it's kind of hard to determine uh, what to do regarding that. Okay, seriously? I really don't want to throw away the trash because I'm hoping to get something of a value out of that. So we're gonna sell seven of those bottles. We're gonna get rid of all of the crustaceans and so on and such. These things do not possess any value to me right now, so we'll be most likely turned into wood and we still have some soggy newspaper. The mix seeds can go in here. You can go over there. You should not be running around with these two. Let's go take a look at those animals. And I will still have time to go and deal with the crab pots which are at Leah's house. Okay, no, 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 no. So I can load in... Wow, that's a lot of duck eggs, actually. Don't have any milk here. Would be nice if I would get that loom finally, but uh, most of the cloth which I have obtained as of yet has been still only achieved or obtained from the recycling bins. Okay, so it's 8 p.m. The animals are officially, like, sleeping or so. So, this is gonna be a bit weird for them, but uh, we should manage just fine. It's impossible for me to, like, check on them and pet them or, like, try to increase my friendship with them. Uh, the Void Egg is unfortunately stuck in between two moves, so... Or two... Two moves. Wow. Really? I cannot even identify the chicken anymore. Uh, so the void egg is stuck between the two chickens, so it will not allow me to pick it up, so I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. Definitely don't want to lose out on the goat's milk. That would be a big no-no for me. I think I already milked this one. Okay. So we should be fine, at least I hope I really did manage to deal with everyone. I'm still able to pet this duck. Well, that's interesting. And there is an egg all the way over there. So, I'm gonna drop off the eggs. We need, what, like, four? I think I'm gonna be able to turn all the milk into cheese. So that should not be an issue. I am running super low on truffles. Mostly due to the uh, weather which we had, so it did rain. So the piggies were not outside, I also need to fetch more pigs because we are coming across uh, the uh, half of summer and it takes at least like 10 days or so for pigs to reach full maturity. So. We will have only, like, then the full season for the rest of the picks to uh, be able to give us some uh, more truffles. During the winter, pigs are completely useless. It's more profitable for you to keep around, like, chickens and uh, ducks and the other species, which produce throughout the entire year. Cows, goats, etc. It, it's all really beneficial for you. Okay, let's fetch the mushrooms. Do not forget about the mushrooms. I did forget about the mushrooms quite a lot lately, actually. So that that's something I would try to avoid. 
we're gonna have to change up some of the stuff around the farm like I said on the previous episodes uh, it will be much more beneficial to squeeze in the uh, radium quality sprinklers but I thought it would be able to accommodate uh, the quality sprinklers but I was incorrect unfortunately. I think there was an oak resin or sweet pea by the bus stop so I would still love to go and fetch that and I think I did put in some coffee to be brewed so I might stop by here uh, fetch the coffee and I will put in this and if we do this, so I should be able to do this. Okay, so the good news is that almost half of the large shed, or big shed, if you want to call it that, is occupied by the kegs, but uh, yeah, I still want to get uh, more of just about anything, and that's going to be quite difficult here. So Muru will most likely get from me a strawberry. I am sitting on a stupid amount of those. So I'm not really that eager to be giving away like a redeem bars and things like this, which I am still unable to get more of. 30 wood, how much do we have? 65, which means Two should be able to be produced, which means I should be able to go and still drop them off into the shed and that will be the end for today. And I feel like I haven't done just about anything. But I tend to have this feeling almost all the time and then certain episodes are just chock full of content. So you should consider checking the playthroughs on the channel, lots of fun stuff, lots of really entertaining stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know it's 12pm, I see the time. I don't think the coffee is yet finished, but ooh, our salmon row is, okay. Or each salmon row, I should say. So we came across five should be able to put in like two more hops. So one, two, and uh, we need five things to be loaded into the preserve jar. So let's get rid of two of you. Two of you, or three of you. Okay. I think I did not do the math correctly yet again. Yeah, I'm still missing one for this. Oh, since this is here, I can actually go and load that in. I totally forgot about it. And uh, the coffee is now done. So there's gonna be a lot of pale ale here. I would love to get even more for the summer season when it comes to the hops. Really cool crop. And the pale ale is done fairly quickly so you will see the return in money quite fast. And like I said, in the evening usually no music so uh, it's unfortunate. The soundtrack is really cool. Okay, so, let's take a look at the prices for the wine. Uh, orange wine, 420. Cherry wine, 336. Peach, 588. Apricot, 210. Pomegranate, 588. And apples, 420. So, uh, I'm not really sure if it's even that much worth to be turned into, like, the wines. But yeah, compared to the starfruit wine where just seven bottles are worth 22,000 gold, it's a, uh, you can probably understand now why I went so heavy with the starfruit and you know, why I made so much fuss about it. 
Oh man, I'm wondering how many more episodes it will take for us to get our hands on like uh, the blueberries. It's usually taking like two weeks for blueberries to reach full maturity if they are planted on the first, but since we have like the deluxe speed grow maybe on the next episode where we will have blue out, uh, we might see them finally um, appear, who knows. I should know these things at this point, but it uh, keeps changing. Okay, so today is not such a lucky day. Wonder why. Drop off the coffee. Drink some coffee. The axe there is gonna definitely be annoying, but okay, we even have some star fruit already. I'm gonna, however, let uh, the star fruit or the remaining star from reach the full maturity. So this is about the Luau, oh dear James, tomorrow we'll are, we are all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Mayor Lewis. Okay, so this is unfortunate because uh, we know for sure that we are gonna lose on a day's harvest of the crab pots. I have unfortunately picked up that star fruit. I was kind of afraid of that. I'm also afraid that I'm gonna pick up that one and even that one. Yeah, I kind of did not think this through exactly, but uh, what the heck. And the blueberries are done, so I was correct to assume this might happen. So majority of the blueberries will be actually sold. Uh, we still are gonna come across a bunch of harvest till the end of the season, so I will keep like the last two to be turned into uh, blueberry jelly, for example. I'm gonna pick this up, I'm gonna pick up the coffee, and I kind of realized that I should have probably like taken the snapshot of the farm so that we can see it in the editing when I post this on the channel eventually. Uh, how does it look like? But anyhow, we have some star food here. So let's load that in. I have only picked up three of them, fortunately enough for me. Uh, the fruit here and this, okay. Once again, it will take forever to get another harvest from within the greenhouse. So I can check in like every three days theoretically. I don't have to stop here every time. Okay, that's five pieces of star fruit that can be planted. Uh, this is gonna be really annoying to deal with, but yeah. Just drop this off. We're gonna sell a ridiculous amount of blueberries. And it can be even more ridiculous. I mean, I still haven't filled in the rest of the farm with the uh, crops and so on. If I have more iridium, I can theoretically load in those uh, iridium quality sprinklers and try to plant there are more crops, so if I were to put them here, that should work. And I would really love to stop by at Robins and purchase that wood. So this is making me think, what items should I consider selling? Unfortunately, we did not come across any free space. The hops have occupied the last remaining inventory points that we have here. We have 22 star fruit wine, so that is a uh, lot of gold there just from that. I think I'm gonna get rid of all of these because they are not that valuable. I'm gonna get rid of the 
uh, non-valuable row. The octopus is a bit more valuable. But yeah, if I would be able to fetch a bunch of wood... You know what? We might go see Robin and put in an upgrade for the second barn. Uh, I'm quite sure she will not do anything about it tomorrow anyhow because uh, we have the Luau and whenever there is an event, uh, Robin is not working. I think two, two of these would do. So, one, two should be a-okay. And if we load in... Uh, do you want to go... You know what? I don't have any sunflowers. So 25 at least for one and let's grab like 10, 15, 20. I don't think it will be able to squeeze in all properly, but soon we are gonna have a big harvest of store food. It's gonna be one happy day for me and I totally forgot to bring some of this cobble path. It's gonna be also an issue inside of the greenhouse with those two over there. Theoretically, if I do it like one, two, three, one, two, one, two, yeah, if, if I like load these immediately here and remove that uh, pathway through there. That, that should work just a okay for us. So this patch of land will be properly utilized. And uh, I will then ask during the fall season Robin to put here instead of that coffee uh, two more fish pots. I kind of did not grab any uh, speed growth. Why did I not do that? I do not know. But the sunflower is done. Or should be done. And now the cabbage. I'm gonna need more cabbage seeds. So, okay. We should also get another scarecrow. Anything, anything, nothing wants you play nice. Okay, it's gonna be 11.30. Theoretically, if I would not want to lose all the crab pots tomorrow, I can move them uh, to like another location, but um, I don't think it's worth the hassle. So we're gonna grab... I think it's actually like it should be 50, right? I just take 50 just in case, and uh, we're gonna go to see Robin. We're gonna purchase a lot of resources, and we are gonna put in the upgrade for the second barn. So we're gonna have some of that cabbage so that we can make either coleslaw or preferably fish tacos. Okay, so it was 48, interesting. Why did I think that the sprinklers cover 25 points? Oh yeah, I counted for the sprinkler too. Okay, never mind. Uh, so let's drop off these two, let's drop off this. Now this is a kind of a laughable thing, so I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with the wood. I'm gonna go talk to Robin. It's Wednesday, so she is definitely at her place. I'm gonna have to go on my way back, deal with the coffee, and uh, deal with the animals too. Look, two grapes. Ooh, skeletal hand. Did we drop off skeletal hand? Yes, we did. Grapes? Interesting. Might put them into the seed maker to uh, get the grape starter for the fall season. I 
like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna spend here lots of money after this cutscene. Hopefully Robin will be here after the cutscene. And I just totally realized I forgot about Murphy's birthday. Okay, so these are some musical instruments. Thank you. Now, uh, if you actually want, uh, there is the thing which you can buy from Robin, and that would be the furniture catalog. So this basically gives you access to all the furniture that you can have, but oh man, I totally forgot about Maru and she's here. I'm such a horrible, horrible person. I made such a fuss about it at the start of the episode. Of course, I'm gonna forget completely about her and her birthday. I don't even know what's like the goal that I should be going for with the resources here. I think I should be okay with the wood. I'm quite sure I'm not okay with the stone. But I'm burning through a lot of money fairly quickly, so... Uh, construct farm buildings. Big barn. 450 and 200, so let's get that going. I'm not sure if I will want to have more goats. I mean, I already have five goats in the first deluxe barn. And we're gonna spend a whole lot of money. Uh, the thing is, I wanted to purchase the damn uh, auto collector from Marnie today, right? That might not actually happen. I might, however, have to sell. Okay, I definitely need to come back and uh, give Maru her birthday gift. I might have to sell that star fruit wine or just all the other stuff from the farm. I mean, I have plenty of things. I would hate to run around only with like 5,850 gold. Uh, so you know what? Uh, I'm gonna deal with the coffee and the animals later. Really need to uh, give Maru the birthday. I think I have. You know what? I have the strawberries inside of the shed. So since I'm gonna be dropping off the coffee, let's just pick it up. Then I'm gonna go back to Robin's place. Uh, from Robin, I will go most likely through the mines and uh, take the cart to the town to pick up whatever is in the crab pot. Then we're gonna return to the farm and uh, we are gonna deal with the animals. Seems like a reasonable plan. I'm quite sure I'm gonna screw up something somehow. It wouldn't be not your professional walk this channel without that. Still nothing? Come on, give me something. I, I hate coming to a big shed and see absolutely nothing that can be sold. That's the worst thing. Let's get rid of the less valuable stuff. The strawberry jelly, this stuff too. So this can all be sold. Totally forgot yet again to take the damn strawberry for poor, poor Maru. Okay, so we are gonna sell you, 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 you. Drop off these. Well, I don't have any coal, so the only recipe which I would be able to craft is like five kegs. 
And uh, I really don't think I want to burn through the last remaining pieces of iron or copper that I currently have on me. And since I do not have any more um, coal, I cannot smelt anything. So I kind of did screw myself over with that upgrade for the two, but never mind that. It's 3 p.m. so I think like 3.20 will be when we will be leaving Robin's place. I really hope Maru is still there so that she can get the strawberry. I mean, it's such a weird thing to give one strawberry, right? I'm just saying because uh, please don't tell me she's in her room or somewhere where I cannot reach her, that would just kill me. Okay, so Maru has left the building, which is not the best. Is she down here? No, thankfully. So I think she will be going to the village? Or she will be by the community center. I need to find her. Unfortunately, because she is no longer there, this is kind of complicating this whole process of me giving her the birthday gift. Uh, Demetrius, have you seen your daughter? No? Okay, cool. Uh... Man, I hate when the NPCs walk off somewhere and I cannot find them. Uh, she's not at the bench. hasn't paid her tab in weeks. She's working now as the bus driver, right? Yeah, sure, right after you pay like 10,000 gold for the drinks for the last month or so. What do you mean, okay, Pam? Don't be such a wuss, man. It's your establishment. Oh, I'm gonna tell you what to do. You better believe it. Of course, you can go the more socially acceptable way and not be rude as hell, but yeah, I, I sometimes suffer with the no, no filter situation, so that kind of tends to complicate stuff. Where in the world is Maru? Please don't make me miss her birthday. I have had plenty of episodes like that here already. Okay, that's just Vincent. No idea where she can be. And if I get to uh, Robin's place too late, um, I I cannot reach her then because they just locked the doors and the whole day is basically screwed up. And if I lose the point with Maru, that's not gonna be looking that great for me. So I would really, really, really love to give her that gift, especially since the entire start of the episode was me yapping about it constantly. Uh, is there anything, anything of value here except of the lovely redhead? No? Okay, uh, kind of wish I would have kept some of that crappy wine for her and not give her the starfruit thingy, but oh what the heck. Where is Maru? 540... I have no idea. For some reason, I never, like, befriend Maru. I don't know why is it. 
but I just kind of... Uh, maybe it's the scene with Demetrius where he tells me to be careful and leave his daughter alone. Where are you, girl? Space poster. Okay. Gonna have to drink another coffee. Really? I really need to find the birthday girl, but I have no idea where she can be. And I would hate to stay here till like 7 or 8 p.m. Let's take a look at the trees. Man, today's episode is brought to you by all the cutscenes. How about you tell us how you might be Abigail's father because she doesn't look anything like Pierre. Aw, oh, she's the one from whom we got the void egg. I, I should send her like a gift basket. Okay, you need the magic ink back. I think some of the trees are actually done here, so I'm kind of hating myself for spending all the money on this. And here's the witch, and it looks like there is something of a value over here. I just noticed that for the first time ever. I I'm not joking, like, what in the heck is that thing? Oh yeah, the trees here are somewhat done, which means when I get the Redeem Axe, I can go a bit crazy here. Where is Maru? Guys, come on. You can't be doing this stuff to me. I cannot waste the entire episode waiting for her. Where is your daughter, Robin? Where have you been? Where have you been? <laughs> okay, I'm calm. I'm calm. Uh, we need to get back to the farm, however, and we need to milk the cows and uh, pick up the eggs, sell the mayonnaise and the other stuff. Let's see what I can pull out from here. It's... I was really hoping that I would be like able to show you the dinner at Joey's, but unfortunately Maru decided to not show up at her home uh, after I totally forgot about her birthday, so it's kind of more my fault. But uh, why should I blame myself? I am the magnificent Max of not your professional long views. So, yeah, th this is uh, kind of looking bad on my end. Okay, let's go deal with the animals. And I'm thinking it might be like time to see our final goodbye for this episode. It has been a lot of fun for more fun content. Consider subscribing to the channel. Publish content on a weekly base. I'm not sure if I actually say I publish, but yeah, I, I publish content on a weekly base. You know what? I'm gonna actually go for those five gags because why not? And, uh, yeah, if you liked the episode, consider giving it a like, it will therefore push the content onto more viewers, so that I can create a bigger community around the channel, hopefully, and
and therefore there can be more of us weirdos who enjoy games. I do apologize if any of the quality of the footage was uh, uh, worse or blurry. I am working with a limited hardware. I'm really hoping that eventually by the end of 2040 or so I will be able to like build myself a proper desktop PC. But currently with the uh, world condition and lack of parts and all the other stuff, yeah, it's kind of a difficult thing to deal with. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna thank you anyhow for enjoying the episode all the way until this point. If anyone even survived until this point, it would surprise me a lot. But yeah, thank you for watching, stay safe, have fun, and bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>